Today is Friday. It is September 1st. It is, what time is it? 7.15, hot. Um, I just got back from the gym. It was such a wonderful workout. I haven't been, like, I've been trying to find my groove of, like, you know, just living life like I'm out on vacation um, because I quite literally live here. So, yeah, um, it's finally coming around and coming together. This is the gym fit for today. Here, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I want to see this body. Okay, period. Today was back and shoulders, period. So, yeah, I'm about to get ready for work. It's Friday. I'm off this weekend. Thank you, Jesus. This is my first weekend off since I've started here. Besides when I was on my honeymoon. Um, actually, no, because, yeah, I missed one Saturday when I was on my honeymoon. But literally, I came back on a Friday and went back to work that Saturday. But anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm about to, of course, take my L-glutamine as if it were a shot of tequila. And then I'm also going to have some muscle milk. I'm not too hungry, so I probably won't eat like a big breakfast. But yeah, happy Friday. Happy new month. Blessings. Money. Goals. New ventures. Whatever it is, you're going to get that. Period. Hey y'all, I just left the nail salon. I just had the best nail salon. I hope y'all can hear me over this AC because I cannot turn it down right now. I got my nail, look. I mean, can we just take a moment for this shape? Like, uh, I have become that girl with the nut white nails for no reason. I got the same color on my toes, but tell me why I already effed up my toe because with good reason, I literally, y'all yeah, know I need a mirror in my house so bad. Like, I don't have not one mirror. So, I found this mirror that's almost, this mirror that's almost six feet tall in Ross, of course, because where else would I go? Almost six feet tall, lovelies, for $70. She had to come home with me. She had to come home with me. So, yeah, she had to come home with me. Um, she doesn't even fit in my effing car is the thing. I let my back seat down. I'm sweating y'all. I got cute. I put on makeup and everything. Um, doesn't even fit in my trunk because like the opening is too narrow. Like it couldn't fit through there. So what I'm going to do is one of my besties, my only bestie out here, he's going to come pick it up. He has a little TS Jeep. So we're going to do that. Thank God. But I effed up my toe trying to pick up that damn mirror. Um, but it's fine. I'm just going to ask Sophia. I'm going to ask my nail girl if she can fix it. So hopefully she says yes. I'm about to text her right now. But it's Saturday and I'm off. Thank you, Jesus. But do y'all see it? Like the ring with the nail combo. It's just eating the girls up. Um, but yeah, it's Saturday. I'm probably going to get some Chick-fil-A for my troubles. And yeah, happy Saturday. Hi, lovelies. Guess what? I went to brunch today. Yeah, I sure did, and not alone. I went with some friends, so it was cool vibe. We went to this place called um, Local Local Tap and Table. It was a vibe, it really was. The only thing is, it's like, I don't know it's like mandatory, but I didn't see a way around it. Um, like you have to pay for the valet parking, and it's not like you have to pay and like have to tip them. You have to pay 20 bucks just for them to take your car. Like you can't park it yourself. So that was, lame but you know it was a good time um i just got home i'm just about to put my laundry up i think i have some in the dryer too oh do you guys want to see my outfit so it's not giving like what i really wanted it to give because i really wanted to give um corset with the um you know whole cargo pant look which i don't have any i do but not the style that i'm going for so you see like it's a full-on Corset, and I was gonna wear the skirt. Let me show y'all the skirt that I was gonna wear because the skirt ate 
down it was just too tight let me show y'all okay so the skirt eats i really should have just wore and wore it with the flaps down like i'm doing now because i actually have seen skirts online like this like sold like this i really should have wore it and ate down why didn't i wear the fucking skirt y'all uh and then i did wear this cute little yellow bag but it's okay the cargoes i got i'm just gonna rerun the thing back the whole outfit so I'll show y'all whenever I do that. So I'm just about to chill, do my laundry. I'm relaxed for the rest of the day. I have to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's Labor Day. So boom. Hey, y'all. Happy. What is it? Labor Day. It's, it's very much a Labor Day for me because why I had to work. Everybody's at home, chilling, relaxing, in the pool, on the grill, relaxing, living their best life, and where I'm at, working. But it's okay. I had to move in today. It was great. I actually did just go to the grill. I got my little beach bag. Um, don't worry about what's in my cup because it's my cup and mind your own business. But I did just grill for the very first time. I did cheat. I used a gas grill. Um, but I just wanted to be quick. I wasn't trying to like be out there for exponentially, what would I say? A periodically long time. So I just went, made my food. I did my like pretty much just meal prep. I just made some, I put some salmon and um, turkey burgers on there. And. I'm about to go make the veggies now. So, I'm just checking in and say hi. And what's up to the bus? I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue. Bitch, you just want to send me automatic with a drum. Ask me if I'm finished now, nah, but that just done. Nah. I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun. Are you dumb? Uh -uh. Me, I don't know no other man. Like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands. What? I don't even got me a hundred bands. Hello. Sorry, this is like a really terrible position to put y'all in. However, I just pulled up. I'm about to go to the pool. Today is Thursday. However, it's my Friday. So this is what we're doing. And we can't have glass bottles. So I'm about to period. Oh, so I may, um, well, I'm not going to say a friend yet. I don't use the word very loosely. Why do I only have on one mic? Hello. Um, I made a little, a little associate and we're going to go to the pool. The vibe is vibing for sure. Um, I'm feeling this all the way up. I wish I had ice to be a little ghetto. Um, it's just Andre, um, champagne. It's a peach champagne. If you like anything peachy, please go get this. Um, it's literally at my local liquor, liquor store. It's a total wine. So if you have one in your area, it's literally only like $6 and some change. Um, babes, it tastes just like a peach knee high. Thank me later. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go to the pool. Um, of course, I got my Starbucks cup. Um, Mom, sister, auntie, if any of y'all are watching this, I need somebody to find my other Starbucks cup set. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to the pool, you guys. I will update you later. Tomorrow I'm off. Um, it's still gonna be like a working day. I'll be working like on my, you know, for myself, on myself. I'm gonna film a video. It feels so nice to say that. Um, I'm gonna film a video. I'm gonna do a video of like literally moving and uprooting your whole life and like how I did it. Cause a lot of people ask me that. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I have another, I have a try on haul coming soon, so. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes can't see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me. 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 Listen, you've been missing since 2006. Me one fix. You know that's my hey y'all, I have meant to come on here before I got in the shower and got uncutified. Don't get me wrong, I'm still cute. I'm always be a bitch. Um, but I was I meant to come over here as soon as I got off work. But anyway, y'all, I was on the elevator getting off work, coming home, and I hate elevator talk. But the guy on there, he was real nice. He had a case of beer in his hand, so I was like, Looks like you better have you a good weekend. Child got off the elevator. That man said, hook them horns. But they had to get to the, to the nearest Google. Because hook who? Hooker what? Hooker who? 
He was a Caucasian man, by the way. Babe, I got on Google so fast, and apparently it's a Texas thing. So my dad said I'm having to get, I'm gonna have to get with it. So that's it. Today's Saturday. I'm chilling. I'm not doing nothing. I just got off work. Work was really kicking my ass today. I was ready to get off work before I even went. But yeah, I'm about to thaw out my lobster tails. I'm finally about to make them for dinner. Um, and yeah, we chilling. I wish I had some freaking potatoes, but I made them the other day. So we just gonna have a little rice. I'm gonna see how I can zhuzh it up a little bit. So we're gonna do rice and asparagus. So I'll show y'all that when it's done and ready to be devoured. Happy Saturday. Hi, you guys. I have been possibly the worst vlogger these last few weeks. I have just been all over the place, like quite literally. Um, but today is, what's today? To Wednesday, today's Wednesday. Um, and I just got a new effing stove. I don't know why I turned the light off. I came on here to show y'all my stove and my outfit. So let me show y'all a little something. Uh, you guys just look at her. The time is wrong. I'm going to fix it. But just look at how beautiful she is. Oh, a nice glass flat top. We love to see it. Um, also, here is the work fit for today. Period. The fit is a fitting. This shirt actually has matching um, pants. But I got to lose like three pounds to get them closed. I'll show y'all those in a second too. But yeah, I was just coming on to say hi. I'm about to go in here. Let me turn the AC down. Um, y'all, to save on your electricity, especially if you live in Texas, because the electricity out here, how expensive it can be is no effing joke. Turn your AC up, like, when you're at work. Like, turn it up, like, to 76, so it's not running, running, running. That's what contributes the most to your electricity bill. Um, I'm just going to my closet, y'all. So, let me show y'all the pants. Where are they? Okay, here go the pants. Like, uh, this little set is going to eat down when I can get in these. Um, so, yeah, I want to get a closet system in here soon. Let me go on some good lighting because I, I was telling y'all I was going to come over here and, like, kind of chat about uprooting your entire life. Um, and just, like, moving out on a whim because that's quite literally what I did. Um, I kind of had a plan. Let me sit down and talk. This is this is too good. Let me sit down. Okay. So, yeah, I was just saying, um, deciding to quite literally, like, start your life over in a different state where you have no family, like, literally no one, is so crazy. It is so crazy. And a lot of people don't understand when you want to make that decision because... They're like, well, you don't know anybody there. You don't have anybody there. What about your family? What about your friends? What about blah, blah, blah? I can't even worry about it. Like, when you, I'm such an energy-based person, and, like, I'm, at the end of the day, going to do what makes me feel good. And the city that I, I was living in, which was Memphis, I always knew that it wasn't meant for me permanently. Um, so, like, I'm from a small town outside of Memphis called Carnival. It's Memphis, but, you know, the outskirts, whatever. Um, so, I had a really great life, honestly. I really haven't endured too many struggles. And I'm so grateful and so blessed to say that. Um, but I just, at a very young age, I was very in tune. I, I always knew I had a big purpose. Um, and a lot of people don't find their purpose ever in life. Um, it takes a lot of people a lot longer. But me... I just felt like this is what I needed to do. I always knew that I wanted to move, but I didn't know where or why or how. So when I, my job, like my job is so flexible with that. I love my job. Of course, one day I want to be my own boss, but I'm really grateful for this job, this position, this company. Um, before this job, I was on my way out the door of corporate America. Um, but this job just opened up so much opportunity. And you, you have to use your job just like they're using you like the way that you're benefiting them by working for them you need to make sure that your job benefits you back in some kind of way um i'm gonna go more in detail with this when i do my sit down video like 
how I moved, you know, like how I planned and prepped. But honestly, at the end of the day, I came over here to say, you can't really plan or prep your life. You know, you can, you can have an idea of where you want to go and you can work towards that. But at the end of the day, your life is already predetermined. You are already predestined. You know, you just have to figure out your way of how to get there. And so me, I'm, I go based off of how I'm feeling. If I feel like something's not good for me, I'm not going to do it. Or I'm going to change the situation or the circumstance. You know what I mean? Um, Memphis didn't feel good anymore. I, I, been, I had to work my way up to get out of there. So you have to save your money. You know, you got to prep for it. Um, but I go back to feeling, and I now I'm starting to feel like this is my home. Like this is where I live. I'm starting to make my apartment like more homey. You know, like this is like my grown up, grown girl wife era apartment. Like my husband will be here soon. Like this is a big, big step for me. And I know that a lot of us make this step, um, but it's not easy. It's not common. If you've done this, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. It takes a lot to do it and like stick with it, you know? Even if you do it and you went back home, at least you got the experience, you know? Um, but for me, I'm just so blessed. I'm so happy. I, I'm just truly thankful. Like I wake up every time I open my eyes, I thank God because this is a big move. Like it really is. It's a big thing to be doing. And then I just got married. Like I'm a wife to the most incredible husband. Like <sighs> don't get me started on my man because that's my baby i love you husband what um but that like my husband like he's the best like he's the, my biggest supporter like uh, that man y'all like literally sometimes i'm not gonna lie i do have a bit of doubt but it's, it's not doubt like negative doubt it's just me being realistic and you know going down all the different avenues of the way something could turn out you know and he like he's just always behind me like pushing me like babe you can do this like you you are so smart like he just really encourages me you know like he just supports all of my dreams like even the wildest dreams he's like you can literally do that shit like whoo thank you jesus for that man right there y'all mm. don't get me started because i'm mm, the way i'm feeling just thinking about him but yeah i'm just so grateful i'm just so happy i'm so blessed i'm in such a great space like i said i'm getting in my routine out here in texas like I'm going to taste this girly, so, yeah, talk to me nice.